If we think about HIV, and many of you have heard about HIV, but you think to yourself, well, surely it's not, no longer such a big problem. We've got medication that helps people live long lives uh, who are living with HIV, so what's the issue? Well, currently there's still 38 million people living with HIV. We know that it's still a remaining leading cause of death for a number of age and sex groups. It also, HIV has a major impact on people's quality of life because they'll be taking medications for the rest of their lives. It also means that the people that are affected by HIV, the communities, and the countries are not able to reach their full potential. The goal for Sustainable Development Goal 3 is to ensure healthy lives and promote the well-being for all and at all ages. 3.3.1 is specific to HIV, and it's the HIV incidence measures. The way we say it is number of new HIV infections per 1,000 uninfected population. And we look at it by sex, so male and female, by age, and by key population. If you think about trying to count every person or every time a person became newly infected with HIV, you quickly realize that would be impossible. We'd have to ask every person to, to be tested on a regular basis. That'd be very expensive, but also very inconvenient. We can use the data that we do have and put it into a mathematical model to understand what HIV incidence is. Information such as the total population size and mortality due to other causes, HIV prevalence, proportion of people who are reached with life-saving uh, treatment, as well as those who have died of AIDS-related causes, put together in one model will give us HIV incidence.